Go right on. Fucking over here you go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Ranger and Chow. Cheers. Cheers, big fella. As always, I hope you guys are subscribing. Keeps kicking along. Ranger. The big Ranger over there, the Chow here. We're going to ramble on with some interesting content today. I don't know what Ranger's got planned for us, but I'm pretty sure oh, he's going to I've got some, I got some things ball. planned, buddy. Don't oh, you worry about that. I've got things planned. Uh, but before we get into that. makes me worry. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to watch them. We put on content as much as we can, and generally we're ranting. But if you grab a drink and help yourself through through the process, it won't be too bad, and it'll be painless, like it is for us. Well, so, I don't know if it's not quite painless. Well, I'll tell you what, not looking in your background with the big TV up at the wall reflecting those monitors, it just looks like you're in a tech center right there. Mate, it is. There's a lot of tech going on in this in this shed. Uh, the, be- <laughs> the most technical space is all is the bar. That's where the real te- technical man. And on the magic other space right beside you, for over six months now, the JB Hi-Fi bag is still featuring on that couch. That, that that bag has got content here. You know what I mean? I put stuff in it to protect it from the gecko shit. <laughs> gecko, by the way, for people who aren't from Australia, is like a little lizard. And they run around inside everywhere. You can't, they're, they're so small and they get into everything. They, they get inside your printer, they get into your printer and they'll blow up, burn out a circuit board. So oh, you ring up I, your technician no, and he worry comes about, out. Don't worry about telling the viewers about what happens about the electronics. Tell the overseas viewers about what happens when they get in your ears while you're sleeping. Oh, oh, Wrigley's in your ears. I hate that. Have you ever had a Wrigley in your ear? No, nah, I had one try up my nose though. Oh, I've Not had a Wrigley good. in my ear before. And Not my good. air con, every now and then you hear the, the air con starts going <laughs> and making this noise. Got one. And then it's, it spits out a cockroach and this cockroach always lands dead set on my back or something like that. And I just, ah, ah, trying to get rid of this fucking cockroach. Hate the bars. I can see being very manly about that interaction. Ah. Oh. Hey, listen, before we go any further, yeah. um, to, the, to the audience here, Google this, Albie Mangles. Albie Mangles. That was a, uh, an Australian uh, uh, sort of uh, outback guy back in the day that used to tell everybody about the, uh, the natives and the, the, and the animals and all that sort of stuff. You know, it was, it was a real rugged guy, guy. And he looks a bit like Chow because Chow needs to clean up that beard, I think. Yeah, fair Have you enough. not got a trimmer? Uh, I do. It's just that my skill level is pretty lacking, you know? <laughs> so sometimes I mean, it gets, achieved... all... gets away from me a bit. You've achieved the first part, which is growing the beard. Now you just have yeah. to trim the beard. I'm pretty happy with the effort, to be honest. You're starting to look a little bit like Jesus. Well, I feel a little bit like Jesus. <laughs> I feel like I could sleep for three days and come out of a hole somewhere. That's about the gist of it, isn't it? All right. So here's something I thought we'd talk about today. This Money. here. A, a dollar. One US dollar. Now, I had this great yeah. idea about 20 years ago, right? I thought if I could buy 10 US dollars a day, and this was going back like 10 years ago, whenever it was. I think it might have even been 20 years ago. I don't know when I came up with this, but just 10 US dollars a day. Where would I be now, now as far as currency exchange goes? And I worked it out the other day, and it's 1.6 million just to buy 10 bucks US a day. 10 of these. Couldn't believe it. I thought. Well, I couldn't believe I did it. Hang on a second. I've got to put this thing back. I don't know what your pay pack is like, but 10 bucks a day is a fair bit out of your little uh, monthly budget there. Well, it can be. It can it be. But when you when you look at the payback, that's pretty good. Bloody yeah, but that's well, like everything. That's like saying I could put $10 a day into a high interest account for the next 30 years and be very well off at the end of it. That's a long-term commitment, and I have to have the money short-term to fund that new idea. 
But <clears throat> I'm not a math. I'm not much of a mathematician, right? I tell you that right now. That was a good burp, by the way. So, um, if there is anybody actually watching this that's really good with maths, run the numbers for me and tell me if I'm wrong. Run it against the currency exchange changes over the last twenty years and tell me if I'm wrong and how far I'm out by. But I reckon it works out to be about one point six million. There'd have to be a lot of math involved in that because obviously you're constantly buying at different exchange rates throughout that time every single day and that you're buying. That, but and then you're selling that, back at a different exchange rate again at the end. But it, so it, it's not normal interest either. It's compound interest. Yeah. So it, yeah, that loses you know me I mean? too. Yeah. Anyway, so that was the end of that. But I thought that was a little interesting topic. One US dollar. Ten US dollars, sorry. Yeah. It doesn't seem like a hard oh. thing to do. You thought it was an interesting topic. I'd yeah, I mean, I disagree. It was pretty boring. I had to think too much and it's not where yeah. I'm at at this time of the day. I agree. I know. Um, I need another drink. Oh. Well, if you need another drink, I need another drink. I reckon we just call it on that one and uh, speak to our viewers on another sunnier day. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll say goodbye because I've got to recharge my drink. So until next time, Take it easy. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you again. Be good, guys. Take it easy. Speak to you soon. Bye.